we're using Victron solar components for our solar. Right here we got the charge controller. This takes the power from the solar panels and regulates it to the batteries. That way we don't cause damage to the batteries. Um, the Victron doesn't have a display on it, you have to purchase that separate, which kind of sucks, but you can control it all on your smartphone for all three of these components that we have here currently. So next we have our Victron smart charger. This is for days where we don't have enough sun. If we are using more power than we're making, just plugs into the generator. And again, you can control it, all the settings and your uh, smartphone, the Victron app. Right now we have just two 100 amp hour batteries wired up for 12 volt. Um, they're lithium iron, 100 amp hour. Come over here, you can see all the specs on them. We will be adding more to this as we go. And this is just wired this, all this is wired this way temporarily while we figure out where to put this up permanently. So it will be wired in neater with correct colored wire. We're using the Victron Phoenix 1200 inverter. Yes, they're both red cables, but that's because I still haven't found the correct cable for this inverter. It's too stiff cable for it. And then it's just wired into a regular breaker box like in every other house, which I haven't finished wiring in just yet. And then here we have, this is for anything 12 volt we have. We're gonna run 12 volt lights in the kitchen under the counter, or uh, above the counters. And our water pumps are all 12 volt. So that will all be fused through here. And again, this is just a mess right now because we haven't figured out where to put it permanently. We're hoping to put it outside in a shed. This is the Smart Solar 150. So the 100 means it can take up to 100 volts from the solar panels. Um, so you can wire those up in series up to 100 volts. And then the 50 is how many amps it's putting into the can put into the batteries. And again, you can regulate all of that through the app, which we can show you later. And then if we go outside, I'll show you the panels. This is our janky temporary solar panel mount. Again, everything is temporary for this year because we have to move the cabin up the hill to a dry spot. So I don't want to go put in, uh, posts in the ground with concrete until everything's permanent. So we just made this for now to be able to get the panels up and mounted so they work. Originally we started purchasing these larger panels, they're 170 watt panels, 12 volt, um, but we can't get those anymore. So we ended up, we purchased four more of these, they're slightly smaller, they're 150 watt, 12 volt panels. And with solar panels, they're not really 12 volt or 24 volt. A 12 volt panel will make up to 20 volts depending on how much sun it gets. So. You can't really think of them as a 12 volt panel. And then if you come around here, all these panels are wired up in pairs, parallel. So that means we have the positive hooked to the negative on the one near it. Um, and that doubles your voltage and your amperage stays the same. So these two are hooked together to make it a 24 volt panel. And then these two, top and bottom, are hooked together to make those two a 24 volt set. And then from there, they come into this combiner box. Um, it's waterproof. They're fused. Got replaceable fuses right there. Got a breaker. If I turn that off, it shuts the panels off to the charge controller. <clears throat> and they just plug in the bottom, just like the control, uh, solar panels do. And then your power, ground, and the ground come out of the combiner box. I haven't got the ground rod hooked up just yet. I have to do that. Uh, we just wired this in this morning. It just it gives you a safe, convenient way to hook your panels together. So they're fused so you don't have the risk of a fire from the panels. Or if there's other issues, fuse or breaker trips, pretty much it actually really simple once you start getting into it if you have basic understanding of electricity and if you have any questions leave a comment I'll be happy to try to answer them 
So this is the Victron app. Um, we currently only have this uh, charge controller and the inverter hooked up right now. So if you come in here, here is the charge controller. As you see right now, it's overcast, so we're not making any power. Uh, well, very little. We're making roughly 30, between 25 and 33 volts, the panels. And then here's your battery info, your battery voltage, how much amperage you're putting into the batteries and what state the charger is in. Shows you the history of how long it's been going, how much power you made, how much you've used. It does these charts and you can go back through. And then the inverter shows you how many amps of power you're using. User, currently we're using 115 amps. It's making 120 volts. It is inverting and shows our battery voltage at 13.2. Here you can, can set all your settings on it. You can turn it off or put it on eco mode. You can set your uh, alarms, your shutdown, so that way it doesn't cause damage to your battery. If you put it in eco mode, it turns off on its own. You can set your wake up and shutdown powers right there. And the same thing with the inverter, or charge controller, sorry. You can set all your settings here what voltage your batteries are, max current. You can turn it on and off right here. You can equalize them through the charge controller, your load output. It has a street light setting because these are actually used on street lights. So that is the Victron amp. It has VRM, so when we get internet out here, we'll be able to monitor it from anywhere. Well guys, that's it for today. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. And if you're new and want to follow along, please hit that subscribe button, like our video, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.